Investigators are working to determine what sparked a fire that damaged an apartment building in Bradenton, leaving multiple families without a home. The fire at Harbor Point Apartments started late yesterday afternoon, seriously damaging the 16-unit building and displacing more than 20 people. ABC 7's Kate Flexter shows us how some neighbors went into action. The fire started at about 430 Wednesday at this apartment behind me, leaving some temporarily others permanently without a home. I don't even remember most of it, but it was just your adrenaline kicks in and it takes over. Chris Visner was at home at Harbor Point Apartments when he noticed smoke coming from the building next door. The 16 unit apartment building was on fire. That's when Visner and others warned residents to leave and began battling the blaze with home fire extinguishers. But he said it hardly made a dent. It looked like it was containable and then it just kept going higher and higher and higher. The fire started in the stairwell and quickly spread to the attic. A total of six fire engines and one ladder truck worked to control the blaze, a process that took 20 minutes. No one was seriously injured, but the building suffered heavy fire damage to one unit and water and smoke damage to seven others, displacing more than 20 people. That's where the Red Cross came in. Volunteer Monty Messermith was on the scene. We're very grateful that we were there as a Red Cross, uh, assisting them at one of their lowest points in their lives. The Red Cross provided the victims of the fire with enough money to get by while they decide how to move forward. For housing, uh, medical needs, uh, food, clothing, uh, toiletries, uh, all of those things that they may have lost in the fire. As for Visner, he says he's sure his neighbors would have done the same for him. You just do what you you would want your neighbors to do. Adrenaline pumps and you do what you have to do to try to help people. Investigators have yet to determine what exactly started the fire. In Bradenton, Kate Flexter, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Kate.